Hello everyone once again, this is Rob, and welcome back to Media Awareness and another first reaction video. Before I get to that, however, a quick reminder the fundraiser continues. For those of you new to my channel or unaware, I am a disabled individual, and I use a motorized wheelchair slash scooter all day every day for my independence, and I need your help. My insurance will not cover anything with regard to my scooter as they view it as a quote luxury item, end quote. Despite the fact that I am unable to walk whatsoever, in addition to being unable to use any other type of power chair or a standard wheelchair for that matter, as I only have limited use of one hand. In addition to that, I do not have a backup scooter or wheelchair so if this malfunctions as, as it recently did, I will be a fish out of water, and I, I'm trying to avoid that from happening. Therefore, below the title of this video in the description, as well as in a separate section below the information pertaining to the video I will be reacting to, you will find a spot fund link in those two places. Any and all support is welcome. Even 5 or $10 adds up over time, and it all makes a big difference. So please do what you can. As alluded to a moment ago, I was without my scooter for a little over two weeks. And it was a very hellish two weeks. Um, I was in my scooter, but I was unable to uh, independently move around. And I required the help of friends and family to move me around my own home. And uh, the uh, repairs to the axle scooter itself were very excessive in the amounts, um, but they did fix the problem and it is now uh, once again operating, operating at optimum capacity. But I don't want to face that scenario again. Therefore, I want to have parts on hand to replace as needed, in addition to potentially, as stated, um, obtain a new scooter as well. As if I have this one as a backup, I can have the new one as my primary, or vice versa. Either or, that's my plan. So please do what you can at the spot fund account below. You can also contribute anonymously. As I stated, any and all help is welcome. I do want to extend the gracious thanks to, to those who have contributed in addition to those who plan on contributing as your contributions have and will make a world of difference in my life. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you all. On with this reaction. So, Nightwish dropped a new single this morning and it is called An Ocean of Strange Islands. And this song is, of course, from their upcoming release, Yesterwind, a new album which is scheduled for release on September 20th, 2024, only a few weeks away. Pre order your copies now. This is um, a long-awaited Nightwish release, so please uh, do the band the favor of pre-ordering a copy in your choice of formats. Uh, you can also probably stream it when it is available uh, on uh, Spotify, as well as other streaming sources of your choosing. But I would recommend a physical copy if you are a fan. So... Nightwish should need no introduction. They've been around since the 90s and they've been sort of spearheading the symphonic metal um, landscape and uh, really kind of dominating that landscape, I would say, throughout their entire tenure as a band. So uh, I'm curious to see what this new single sounds like. I've covered previous singles from this album on my channel. This is a lyric video, so uh, you can follow along and sing along at home and uh, 
have a good time with that. Um, and um, I, I, as always, with all of my reaction videos, this will be linked below my video itself. I do this because the musicians and bands who create this music for us, the fans, do so with the utmost creativity and, and integrity. And they deserve all the credit in the world for their hard work. So give them the clicks, give them the love, and click on their source video. Either pause my video now and watch the actual video and then come back and see my reaction, or vice versa. It's up to you. But always click on that source link regardless. Plus, you'll be able to watch the video with superior audio and video quality. And without me in the corner of the screen up there somewhere, like an untrained mime in the box. Yes, unfortunately, I did not have the uh, ability to study under Lindsay Kemp and uh, learn the miming art, so I am without the talents of mime. But I am, I will still be in the box. So there you go. But this song, once again, um, an, an ocean of strange islands from the album Yesterland. Scheduled for release September, September 20th, 2024. Pre-order now. And this is a first reaction. I will be back following this track with my assessment. <laughs>
Okay. So there you have Nightwish, an ocean of strange islands. From the upcoming release, Yesterland, scheduled for release on September 20th, 2024. I would highly recommend clicking on that source link below. That way you can see all the lyrics clearly and you can dance around your living room or wherever you are singing Nightwish at the top of your lungs. I, I held back. I really did. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, where to start on this track? Production is top notch. It always is with Nightwish. Everything is balanced out as it should be. You have high and low points throughout the song and throughout the mix itself. Um, certain instruments come up in volume when they should and are not quite prominent when they shouldn't be. Uh, so it all does work out from an engineering production standpoint. Uh, and also musicianship wise and uh, performances in general. Great, great vocals on this track. I will say that. Really great vocals. Uh, musically, it's, um, it's great. Uh, the percussion, uh, and, um, rhythm section themselves are very solid. I prefer the part of the song, I want to say after the guitar solo, uh, where there's like a groove going on. And I was more... So getting down with that groove, then the faster sections in the beginning and the ending prior to the, the slow outro. Uh, but um, they're venturing more into progressive metal, it seems like, with this album. As a progressive metal um, fan, uh, that's what it seems like. It's still symphonic, don't get me wrong, but it does seem like it's dipping its toe into more progressive waters, which is not a bad thing. You have to uh, change things up a little bit. You can't keep doing the same old, same old, and it is an interesting dichotomy within the song in terms of the different uh, time changes that are relevant and evident throughout the piece itself. The lyrics are very uh, intense, I would say. I would say, um, sorry, my voice is losing here. I'm still not feeling great, uh, so doing my best. Um, but uh, yeah, lyrically, it is quite good, um, very intense. The only thing I have to say is the initial verse or verses um, in the beginning part of the song. I, I couldn't help but think of um, two very similar cases of that rapid lyrical uh, succession. Um, and of course, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, uh, you know, the just um, success, um, uh, Singing the lyrics in a rapid manner, almost without um, acknowledgement of the melodic structure of the song itself. And it does work within the context of the song, but that's sort of what I'm saying. And it's very, very reminiscent of R.E.M. End of the World. Um, and um, 
Billy Joel, We Didn't Start the Fire, two songs which I absolutely loathe with a passion. Uh, both songs use that same trope, and it's an effective trope to get lyrics across and to get meaning across, because you're just kind of hammering the audience with the, the lyrics and doing so in a rapid manner. So they have to pay attention. They have to keep on their toes. Um, but that, that was sort of a troubling factor. Other than that, everything was done magnificently. And uh, like I said, I especially like that grooving section following the solo itself. And um, it seems, like I said, as, as though they're venturing more into progressive metal, progressive symphonic metal, um, and out of the strictly the symphonic metal um, genre, which it is uh, time to spread your wings. So why not? So yeah, there you go. And um, pre-order your copy of Gesterwin. It's coming out once again, September 20th, 2024. Only a few weeks away. Make sure you have your copy in hand. And that way you can hold it up and say that you have it. And make sure that you also click on the source link below so that way you can give the band the love that they deserve. This is Rob with Media Awareness, and once again, a reminder of the fundraiser. Continue as please do what you can, and the all help is welcome. And I will see you all again soon. Have a wonderful morning, noon, or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.